All right, what's up, everybody? We are on episode 12 of Death Note, and what a complete roller coaster ride of an episode that I just come off of. The last one was completely crazy and revealed, of course, something that I had been speculating about already beforehand. There is a new Kira on the scene. It's, uh, you know, a female character, Misa, she is called. She is actually, you know, somebody who received the Death Note from that Shinigami that we saw leave the realm a couple episodes back. Um, Again, it's kind of like the, the one question that I did ask is like, okay, this Misa girl, she is just as like intrinsically driven in a way as, as Light is. I mean, she's kind of revealed to be sort of like obsessed with him, right? And she kind of continues the legacy in a way, but she's even more ruthless because she actually did get the Shinigami eyes. And I wonder kind of like, again, what her goal is. I would assume to actually get in contact with Light or whatever, or like, I'm not sure like what is really driving her, but she clearly is driven by something very deeply. And so I find that so interesting because Ryuk especially pointed out to Light early on that it was completely random that he had gotten a Death Note. But then I also saw, I think it was even in the last episode, a little throwaway note saying that even the Shinigami know very little about the Death Note or something. So maybe they themselves don't even realize that when they throw the Death Note into the real world, there definitely is more of a... Um, I don't know. It, I mean, it does make sure that some very interesting people end up getting it or something. But I have no idea if that's something that's of any significance. I just found it a very interesting detail to notice. Um, yeah, other than that, this is going to change the whole story around. Uh, it's, it's funny because, of course, Elle has immediately realized already that there's a very high likelihood that this is a second Kira, in fact. Light knows it, obviously. Light and Elle are going to be working together on this again. Um... <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I wonder where Light... Like, what I still then kind of question is like, okay, so Light and now this Misa character, are they gonna be sort of like... I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, is Misa, does she have friendly intentions toward towards Light? Or is she trying to be his competition? It didn't really seem like that. But Light does see her as his competition and does want to take... I, I think get rid of her, honestly. So I don't know if that could change, right? I mean, this is just what I'm purely making up out of my gut feeling that I got from the couple of scenes that we saw so far, but it's like nothing really to go by yet. I want to see more, yeah, what direction it's 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 going in and uh, what, what I can expect. But man, like again, other than that, I just am completely sort of flabbergasted and I just want to see where it goes from here. This episode is called Love, which is very interesting because I guess it kind of makes me just think about like, okay, so is this girl actually in love with light? Uh, <laughs> and like, you know, is that what, what the title was referring to? Or what is, what is going on here, right? Um, super excited to dive in and that's what we're going to do here. But of course, do let me quickly point out that if you enjoy my reactions to Death Note, you can already watch the next eight episodes right now over on Patreon, which is linked on top of the description. Over there, we will be on episode 20 already. So definitely go and check it out along with full length reactions if you want to see me react to these episodes in their entirety. But then, yeah, with that being said, we're going to dive into episode 12 of Death Note. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, he sees this as a plus, I guess. Yeah, and they have a common goal, essentially. At least identifying the fake era for now. キラを捕まえたい気持ちは一緒だよ。言うか。ことは流石と呼んでください。松井です。アイフラです。そして私は朝日だ。なるほど。Well, <laughs> ライト。では、ライト。可能性は。ヤガミライト君に捜査協力してもらうという方向で行きます。しかし、どうしてダッド テレビ局にたまたま駆けつけた浮田さんが殺されたこと。いや、いいのです。テレビ出演させれば。Well, 
第二のキラの可能性があると推理したらライト君の疑いはほぼ晴れるということですキラならこの絶好の機会を棒に振ることはしないと思うんですではもし息子が第二のキラの推理をしなければ疑いが深まるというのかうん、yeah, he didn't bring it up or something のままですしこのビデオを見て出来の悪さに吐き気がするのは僕が本物のキラだからか<笑>全くキラのイメージダウンどころの話ではないどうですかライト君何かわかりましたか<笑>こいつキラの力を持った人間は一人じゃないかもしれない、oh, bring it up. キラの力どういうことだライト少なくともこいつは今までのキラじゃない nice fake reaction. 今までのキラなら殺人予告にこんな容疑者を使ったりはしない。エル、いや、リュウザキの推理と全く同じ。So this is a, like this was a good thing, right? Ah, okay. So now they don't, yeah, they don't suspect him at all. その通りです。私たちも第二のキラだと見ています。ライト君が同じ推理をしたことでより有力な説となります。ライト君は本当に力になる。助かります。You really needed the confirmation. まず第二のキラを止めなければなりません。やつは明らかにキラに共鳴しているし、そんなに賢く Not very bright. こちらで本物のメッセージを偽造すれば止められるか。You can draw math. Or her, actually. I keep saying him, but we already know that it's a her. 僕もそれが一番いい手だと思っていた。They don't. そこでライト君に本物のキラを演じてほしいんです。僕が <laughs> well, I, I want you to play the real Kira, even though you are the real Kira, but you know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. 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 The real Kira reveals himself. Yep. <laughs> this is this is all going so fast, man. Holy shit. So now we're gonna see light on the TV screens. I like the font. Okay, still not. Uh, still anonymously. Except, you know, if they're against me. Holy shit, what, what kind of. She has a bunch of religious stuff in her room. She's so excited. Oh man. Got a feeling that the love part in the title might, in fact, refer to her、uh, feelings towards Light or Kira. Oh, that's it. I like how they're all assuming it's a guy too. <laughs> Constantly by saying he. <laughs> It makes sense. Yeah! Wow, just revealed that. Why the fuck would you say that? Is that, like, supposed to be a threat in a way? Just saying it all. What? Heart attack? Oh, just the realization. Oh, man. Well, is that so hard to believe when you can already tell that this is like something supernatural going on? That scared the shit out of him, though. I wonder if there's a more of a reason to it. Oh, 
<笑>そうだよ、龍崎。死神が存在するような文章を書いていた。それならやはりこれも今までのキラと考えるべきでは。同じ人物だから同じ言葉を。<笑> そうさの確認を狙っているのでは、それは。第二のキラはキラの思想とは関係なく、自分の思いで動いています。死神というのは殺人の力を示しているんじゃないかな。お互いの死神を見せ合えば確認できますというのは、殺しの力を見せ合い
Is that girl going to be important still too then? So, oh, that was her. What the fuck? Why did I not realize that? レムはどう私に恋しちゃったりしてないあ、諦めな。お前に私は殺せない。でもこれでキラに教えてあげられる話がまたできたよ。知ってるのかな? <laughs> I never asked something like that to Ryuk, but I assume Ryuk knows this too. Oh wow. Visiting the same place? What, completely by accident or what? There's no way. How did she met? Like, <laughs> so it is completely on accident. This story is this story is getting insane. I guess the most interesting part of this episode, now that I think about it, that I learned about because it was something that, of course, I literally brought up in the intro, is how. This girl didn't actually get the death note then completely by accident. It wasn't just thrown out into the real world and that's how she got it, right? So it makes sense now how the Shinigami was actually in love with her um, based on the fact that she had such a strange, I assume, and like interesting and fitting to the Shinigami type of personality. So yeah, it still makes me think like, okay, so, so, so was it only Light who accidentally and completely randomly did actually therefore get it? Um, and so, it, you know, it really was just convenient that he himself had the sense of justice already. But yeah, other than that, I mean, that whole last part, the story that was told there, this kind of very tragic in a way story about how a Shinigami can die and how a Shinigami can be killed is by, yeah, making him fall in love with a human or whatever, right? And then we see how this person just to protect the girl who we found out later was Misa, in fact, I didn't understand how that did not actually... Uh, catch my attention while I was watching the scene but it was probably just because she was wearing the red hat and whatever and they did it on purpose like that but um what was I gonna say god damn it <laughs> man this is like th this show is so crazy and chaotic I love it but it's making my brain just completely overload at times I gotta be completely honest about that but like yeah we saw how this Shinigami again um I mean he won he knew that her her, essentially her death day or whatever you want to call it was coming and so he could literally see it essentially written down i assume and witness the moment there where just some random guy was about to literally kill her on the street um yeah and decided to stop that from happening and because of that therefore sealed his own fate and essentially um that's the rule i guess is that yeah shinigami get killed that way but of course what it makes me question then at the same time is like okay this information that we got here is it going to be used at a later point therefore as well does will this mean that like maybe it's going to be this girl's goal to try and get ryuk or something to like fall in love with her just to get him killed or something or is it going to be another another way around where like light is going to get uh her shinigami to fall in love with some like somebody i mean i don't know who it could be in the first place because it would probably have to be a female then um or maybe he's gonna try and have him fall in love with like his actual i mean with misa i don't know i mean that was already kind of teased by her asking him that i have no idea what again like where that's all gonna go right but it's so like again they throw these these bits and pieces out there for you to think about but i have no idea what to make of it and in a way i hate it <laughs> because again it's like damn i want to get it so badly but it makes me all the more excited to find out where it's gonna go um, in the future. Yeah, this show constantly just throws you off. Uh, also in the very beginning, of course, with like all the deductions that like L was making about how Light would have to react one sentence after the next. I just eventually lose track, but it's also like, it's cool how um, we see at first that, it, you know, the dad has like some type of reaction to the way Light responded. And I'm like, wait, shit, did he just find out? And then later it's actually revealed like, oh no, well, I don't know. I mean, I think Light then a couple of seconds later did 
say that he suspected that to be a second Kira, which was revealed to us that like, if he knows that, or if he points that out, that reduces his chances of being the actual first Kira. <laughs> so uh, yeah, after that, suddenly he cleared himself completely for now, it seems. And uh, yeah, they, they just like this show loves doing that, just kind of throwing you off and, uh, you know, like spinning things around on you. And I don't know, man, it's like, my head hurts right now. I'm just going to be completely honest about it. It was a great episode. I get the gist of it all. It's just like in the moment, seeing the scenes play out and like going from one sentence to the next constantly, every single sentence requires you to process it, I feel. It requires you to go over it and like really understand like, oh, wait, yeah, we did see this happen. So this makes sense what they're saying, right? But it's like, it just moves and it moves and it moves. And so... uh yeah, it's just what the show does. I love it for it, but holy shit, man. I mean, it's like you can watch two episodes of this back to back, but you really can't watch much more. Uh, I'm going to be ending it here for now. I'm going to be thinking over all these 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 two episodes that I watched here, and I can't wait to, you know, get back next week for it. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed my reaction, of course. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Should you already want to watch the next eight episodes, then they will be up over on my Patreon right now for you to check out. That is linked, as always, on top of the description, of course, along with full-length reactions. If you want to see me react to, God forbid, these episodes in their entirety as well. Uh, with that being said, I want to thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you back in episode 13.